Hey everyone, I'm Argle Funf. This is the schedule for my book review channel for February 2023. Got a bunch of random books I'm reading this month, like Sweet Valley Twins. It's a graphic novel series now, so I'm going to read the first graphic novel and compare it to the original book. Then on the 9th, we've got the next two Baby Sears Club books. I was going to post those last month, but they got pushed back to this month because I read the Little Sister graphic novel, uh, Karen's Birthday, instead. On the 12th, we have two Pride and Prejudice book reviews. I figured that would be good for Valentine's Day, right? Well, these are not good books. They're pretty dirty, have a lot of adult content. It's smut, basically. It, there, there's no storyline. It's just the characters engaging in adult activities all the time. And the second book somehow manages to be even worse because it has like 200 pages of recap in place of a story. It, ugh, it, it's really bad. So you get to see me complain about these books for a long time on the 12th. Then on the 15th, the first two books in the Encyclopedia Brown series. I've read every single Encyclopedia Brown book, and I'm posting the first two right there, because on the 18th, I'm posting the first two Diary of a Wimpy Kid books. And in Wimpy Kid number two, there's a joke about Encyclopedia Brown. It's pretty funny. So Greg likes reading the Encyclopedia Brown books, because they're all made up of 10 cases, 10 short cases. And so when he does book reports, he does 10 book reports on the same Encyclopedia Brown book. That's, that's funny. So uh, I, I had to mention Encyclopedia Brown when I was reviewing Wimpy Kid number two. So that's why I have the Encyclopedia Brown book reviews going up right before Wimpy Kid. That's why. That's why. I, I'm trying to be honest when I say I've reviewed all the Encyclopedia Brown books when I say that in my Wimpy Kid 2 review. Then the next two Baby Sears Club books, uh, Mystery Number 26, which is kind of terrible. I remember, like, the ebook spelled Dawn's last name incorrectly, so that was kind of bad. And then Stacy's Broken Heart, which I thought was a good book, but I don't like the setup that Stacy finds a dream boyfriend right before she breaks up with her real boyfriend. That was a little too convenient. It really takes away from the heartbreak, right? Because she's already got a hot guy waiting in the wings. So she doesn't have to worry about Robert for too long. At the end of the month, as usual, I have my commissions. So I'm going to be reading Meet Kit, an American Girl. That's the book one of her series. I have never read the American Girl books. I have no idea what to expect. And I'm also doing Wimpy Kid number 17, which is the one that just came out recently. I hope it's okay I skip from Wimpy Kid number 2 to Wimpy Kid number 17 instead of following it up with number 3. I will read number 3, don't worry, but just not this month. And then uh, the next Cirque du Freak book and the next Sammy Keys book. So that's coming at the end of the month. Now let me go over the various books that I reviewed in January. Looks like I read uh, a bunch. So Pizza Lovers, number five, and then Basil of Baker Street, which was a really, really good book. I liked that a lot. I want to read the rest of the books in the series. Uh, a Garfield book, which I thought was funny. This one is all about Odie. Uh, Wimpy Kid spinoff series, The Awesome Friendly Kid. So I really like this one, The Awesome Friendly Adventure. It's my favorite of the trilogy. And then Garfield, That's Life. This book was not so good. It's just a collection of random Garfield comics. There's no theme or reason for it to exist. And it's also extra short. So that's that's not good. And then Rolly Jefferson's Awesome Friendly Super... S no, Awesome Friendly Spooky Stories. It would be great if he had a superhero book, right? Maybe that should be book number four. Rolly writes superhero stories. I would totally read that. Uh, Nancy True Files number 76, The Perfect Plot. That was a really good one, too. This is uh, an Agatha Christie-based novel. So the, the premise is that Nancy goes to Agatha Christie's house and she has to solve a mystery when Agatha Christie's editor is killed. And wouldn't you know it, the secret deals with Agatha Christie's last unpublished manuscript. Ooh. 
and a note from Agatha Christie helps her solve the mystery. The character's not called Agatha Christie, but it's Agatha Christie. Then Garfield, Babes and Bullets, which is such a weird book. It's a film noir book where, where Garfield's a, a hard-boiled detective who's making out with hot babes all the time. And that's weird to think of Garfield making out with human women. It's just ugh, weird. And Garfield on the Town, I thought it was not very good. Uh, I made a review kind of trashing it. Then I watched the TV special, and then I went back and redid my review, because uh, a lot of the bad points of the book were taken directly from the TV special, and I can't blame the author for being faithful in the adaptation. Then Pizza Lovers number six. So I'm all done with the Pizza Lovers series. Yes, I managed to finish it. Uh, Little Mermaid number three, Nafazia visits the palace, where King Triton, he meets his friend Nafazia. He, he knew her when he was studying in India, and all the princesses think Nafazia will be their new stepmother. Then the first Indiana Jones book, Indiana Jones and the Peril of Delphi, which had an okay setup. I don't think it was very good. Like I like the idea that he has to go to Delphi, he has to collect the Omphalos, and it, the uh, myths are coming to life, like this one woman is turning into Pythia and giving grand predictions to the king. But it, 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 the book just did not work overall for many reasons. Like, Indy is far too passive. He doesn't make any active decisions. The story is set when he's young, so he's uh, still like a college graduate student. So maybe that's why he's not taking an active role in what's going on. Uh, Sweet Valley Twins number one. So I did a review for Sweet Valley Twins because I read the graphic novel. I figured I, I might as well read the novel. So I'm going to read through like the first 12 or so uh, Twins books. Just make my way through them at some point and publish them sometime soon, I hope. Little Mermaid number three, Reflections of Ursula, is a good one. So that's Ursula. Ursula turns herself into a mermaid and she lives at the palace and tries to destroy everything which is a great premise, it worked well. And another random book here, Caped and Dangerous. This is a superhero romance novel. And uh, it's for adults, it's, it's really funny. It's about this uh, superheroine, she's like 46 and going through menopause, and so she's just grumpy all the time. And the hottest guy in the world is this potential super villain he's like a billionaire and he's always flirting with her and while they do engage in adult activities it's nowhere near as bad as these pride and prejudice books where it just goes on for chapters and chapters like hundreds of pages whereas this is only two chapters with uh, they have the extreme adult content okay so that's it for my book review channel for uh, February 2023. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment letting me know uh, if any of the stuff interests you. Like, do you want me to push through with these Sweet Valley Twin books? Or you're like, no, man, Michael, I want to see all these Garfield book reviews. Got to post that. More likely people are going to be saying, hey, hey, how come you haven't read much of the Nancy Drew files? I'm sorry I've only read, like, two Nancy Drew files that haven't been posted yet. I, I was expecting to read like 10 of them, only got through two of them. Or hey, you know, maybe people want me to post uh, wimpy kids stuff. Or maybe they want to see random stuff like Basil of Baker Street or, or Odie book. Yeah. So just, just leave a comment. Let me know uh, if any of this stuff interests you. And I'll uh, see you next month. I think uh, April? April. I think April might be when I start posting the Little Mermaid books or the, the Batman books. I think that's on the schedule. I don't quite remember off the top of my head. Anyway, bye, everybody.